All right, so we're back at the house. Jeff's gonna do a decontamination on the vehicle. Um, basically, he wants to clean it up a little bit so that when he has a full day to do a real detail, it's not gonna be as crappy to do. But as for myself, I am gonna be working on this. It's the water valve. Um, so what happened is my current one, which is right there, one of these valves are stuck open. So it's making all the hot air come out of my vents even though the AC is on. So I'm constantly getting hot air and cold air at the exact same time. So living in Dallas or just in Texas in general, I need my AC, so we need to fix it right away. So like I said, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's just right there. So doesn't look th that hard to do. Um, should take me about 30 minutes or so if everything goes smoothly. Um, but yeah, it's just moving some pieces around, uh, pinching the coolant lines on each side so I don't lose so much coolant and then swap it out, unplug the uh, sensor and replace it. So we'll see how this goes. Apparently, from what I read online, that this is actually normal. I'm sure some oil blowback is fine, but it seems awfully like a lot. <laughs> I'm just so happy that all my friends aren't just car guys, but they're just very do-it-yourself type of guys. And as you can see from the garage, it's a very good environment here, a very healthy environment. Everyone here is a very good support system. Everyone wants everyone to succeed. And um, by everyone succeeding, everybody else succeeds. All right, good old German engineering. Let's move this out of the way. I'll be honest, I bought the cheap Amazon knockoff. The OEM one is like 140 bucks. This one off Amazon, with one day shipping cost me $35. And my thought process is if this breaks, and since this is, seems pretty easy to replace, that if it breaks three, four times, that's still worth the money than buying one OEM one. So online, some people say it lasts a year, some people say it lasts two months, some other people say they have no issues with it. I really don't know how long I'm gonna keep this car, as you guys know, I don't keep cars long enough. So I'm just gonna do what I can to save some money. Next one, yep. All right, and the last clip for the mass airflow sensor. Is it satisfying? No, at least the rest of them were. So let's double check our work. This clip is good, that clip is good. Oh, we do have one more. Sounds like a plane. I'm just kidding, there's a plane over there. Right now I'm just trying to find if there's any leaks. So far so good. I don't hear any sounds that I shouldn't want to hear. Alright, um, oh 
the next part would be that cold air, cold air. Yeah, so far so good. So before what was happening was I would have the AC on and I'll feel cold air here on the bottom and then I'd feel hot air coming up to the top and then the side vents was completely hot. But this time it's cold, it's not ice cold and maybe it has to go through a cycle, you know, cars to stay on for a little bit, all that jazz. So far everything seems good. So um, I'll say that's a success. <laughs> Ooh, well, that was not a bad do-it-yourself. Online it looked pretty easy. The dealership wanted around $600 to do this. Um, like I said, I bought this part off Amazon for 30 bucks. It took me about 30 minutes, but that was because I was recording and I really didn't know what I was doing. I just glanced at some videos online how to do it really quickly, but I didn't really pay attention too much. All I did was use common sense of what to move out of the way and everything, and it was pretty straightforward. So since the piece is a $30 piece, if it does break, um, I would just probably buy another one again for another 30 bucks and it probably take me like 10 minutes to do because it's really easy It was like three hoses four hoses two clips really easy so All right, we have AC guys. I may end the vlog here now uh, But I'll probably do a time-lapse of Jeff and I just detailing outside the car. So I hope you guys enjoy this Sunday um, Probably gonna grab some lunch after this take Charles out for another walk and who knows but yeah appreciate you guys watching this vlog it'll get better over time so yeah talk to you guys later peace